what's the worst thing about being homeless? Well, I think there's a couple of things um, because it's, it's pretty bad. I think one is that almost none of us who have a home fully understand what a homeless person goes to, which means that about 75% of their daily suffering is completely invisible. And they know from experience, from living in this country for decades, they know that no one wants to hear about it. So they're living in a virtual hell on a daily basis, 75% of which we don't understand because we haven't spent, you need to spend about two weeks on the street before you get the picture. So 42% of them have PTSD. That's a nightmare in and of itself. You have the daily trauma of wondering if your stuff has been ransacked when you return or the daily exhaustion of carrying, you know, five, 10 bags of stuff around you wherever you go. You have the harassment that you're at your wit's end, but you can't turn to the police because they're your enemy. They're the people that are going to say, move along now. You can't sleep here. You can't sleep there. And a number of homeless have told me the police do not take their thefts or rapes or anything seriously. They are in every respect treated as a lower, uh, as a lower level citizen. And even when this is not consistent, meaning that not everyone treats, not everyone on the police, not everyone uh, in any location or not every you know, person like you and me treats a homeless person like a second class citizen. But enough people do that when they're really hurting and are thinking of reaching out, many of them don't because it's not worth the risk of asking for help and instead getting shame and blame dumped in their face. So it's a very, very painful situation. And I think one of the worst things and one of the reasons that uh, I think it's so urgent that we bring visibility to our homeless is that no one sees the individual suffering of so many of our people.